Good morning. Happy whatever day it is. Wednesday, I guess. All right, putting the incline up a little. I uh, just realized I, I came down here without my glasses. I don't have my bifocals on this morning. I have no contacts in. So this may be a little fun. <laughs> July 14th, Psalm 128, a song for pilgrims ascending into Jerusalem. How joyful are those who fear the Lord, all who follow his ways. You will enjoy the fruit of your labor. How joyful and prosperous you will be. Your wife will be like a fruit, fruitful grapevine flourishing within your home. Your children will be like vigorous young olive trees as they sit around your table. That is the Lord's blessing for those who fear him. May the Lord continually bless you from Zion. May you see Jerusalem prosper as long as you live. May you live to enjoy your grandchildren. May Israel have peace. Psalm 129, a song for pilgrims ascending to Jerusalem. From my earliest youth, my enemies have persecuted me. Let all of Israel repeat this. From my earliest youth, my enemies have persecuted me, but they have never defeated me. My back is covered with cuts as a farmer had plowed long furrows, but the Lord is good. He has cut me free from the ropes of the ungodly. May all who hate Jerusalem be turned back in shameful defeat. May they be as useless as, a grass, as grass on a rooftop turning yellow when only half grown, ignored by the harvester, despised by the binder. And may those who pass by refuse to give them this blessing. The Lord bless you when we, the Lord bless you, we bless you in the Lord's name. Psalm 130, a song for pilgrims ascending to Jerusalem. From the depths of despair, O Lord, I call for your help. Hear my cry, O Lord, pay attention to my prayer. Lord, if you kept a record of our sins, who, O Lord, could ever survive? But you offer forgiveness that we might learn to fear you. I am counting on the Lord. Yes, I am counting on him. I have put my hope in his word. I long for the Lord. More than centuries longing for the dawn. Yes, more than centuries longing for the dawn. O Israel, hope in the Lord. For the Lord... <laughs> for with the Lord there is unfailing love. His redemption overflows. He, redeem, he, will, he himself will redeem Israel from every kind of sin. Psalm 132, a song for pilgrims ascending to Jerusalem. Lord, remember David and all that he suffered. He made a solemn promise to the Lord. He vowed to the mighty one of Israel, I will not go home. I will not let myself rest. I will not let my eyes sleep, nor close my eyelids in slumber, until I find a place to build a house for the Lord, a sanctuary for the mighty one of Israel. We heard the ark was in Ephrathah. Ephrathah. Then we found it in the distant countryside of Jar. Let us go to the sanctuary of the Lord. Let us worship at the footstool of his throne. Arise, O Lord, and enter your resting place, along with the ark, the symbol of your power. May your priests be clothed in godliness. May your loyal servants sing for joy. For the sake of your servant David, do not reject the king you have anointed. The Lord swore an oath to David, with a promise he will never take back. I will place one of your descendants on your throne. If your descendants obey the terms of my covenant and the laws that I teach them, then your royal line will continue forever and ever. For the Lord has chosen Jerusalem. He has desired it for his home. This will, this is my resting place forever, he said. I will live here, for this is the home I desired. I will bless this city and make it prosperous. I will satisfy its poor with food. I will clothe its priests with godliness. Its faithful servants will sing for joy. Here I will increase the power of David. My anointed one will be a light for my people. I will clothe his enemies with shame, but he will be a glorious king. Psalm 134, a song for pilgrims ascending to Jerusalem. Oh, praise the Lord, all you servants of the Lord. You who serve at night in the house of the Lord, lift your hands towards the sanctuary and praise the Lord. May the Lord who made heaven and earth bless you from Jerusalem. Psalm 135. Praise the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise him who served the Lord. You who serve the Lord in the house of the Lord, in the courts of the house of our God. Praise the Lord, for the Lord is good. Celebrate his lovely name with music. For the Lord has chosen Jacob himself, Israel for his own special treasure. I have the greatness of the I know the greatness of the Lord, that our Lord is greater than any other God. The Lord does whatever pleases him throughout all the heaven and earth and the seas in their depths. He causes the clouds to rise over the whole earth. 
He sends the lightning with the rain and releases the wind from the storehouses. He destroyed the firstborn in each Egyptian home, both people and animals. He performed miraculous signs and wonders in Egypt against Pharaoh and all his people. He struck down great nations and slaughtered mighty kings, Sihon, king of the Amorites, Og, king of Bashan, and all the kings of Canaan. He gave their land as an inheritance, a special possession to the people of Israel. Your name, O Lord, endures forever. Your fame, O Lord, is known to every generation. For the Lord will give justice to his people and compassion on his servants. The idols of the nations are merely things of silver and gold, shaped by human hands. They have mouths but cannot speak, and eyes but cannot see. They have ears but cannot hear, and mouths but cannot breathe. And those who make idols are just like them, as, all, as are all who trust in them. O Israel, praise the Lord. O priests, descendants of Aaron, praise the Lord. O Levites, praise the Lord. And all, all who fear the Lord, praise the Lord. The Lord will be praised. The Lord be praised from Zion, for he lives here in Jerusalem. Praise the Lord. All right. That's it. I didn't realize how much I need my bifocals until I don't have them. I can see okay, but it's it gets blurry every few words. I have to blink away the blur. All right, you guys. Thanks for joining this morning. I hope you all had a good night and I hope you um, make it back tomorrow for more treadmill devotions. And I will go upstairs and make breakfast. I think I'm going to make like a bulletproof coffee of some sort this morning because I overslept by an hour. I had my alarm set for 515 and then all of a sudden I woke up and it was not 515. <laughs> I don't I must have hit the snooze button or the sleep button or something on my phone and I overslept by an hour so I got to get the kid ready for camp and everything so I'm going to have a quick breakfast this morning of some form of bulletproof coffee some form or another so I will see you upstairs shortly in a few minutes and I hope you can join me um, otherwise I'll see you tomorrow morning for more treadmill devotions all right you guys love you all have a great day bye